So I'm window cleaning this 22 story building and um, we try and get as much coverage as we can for every drop. So a drop is just where we put the rope and then we go down. But we want to cover as much horizontally as possible so that we can minimize how many times we need to move all the ropes and set it all up. So then that's what I do. It's a little bit of a gymnast act because you got to see what can you grab onto. Try and use the suction cup. Um, usually it sticks pretty well, but sometimes it pops off. So use the suction cup, grab onto the edge, grab onto the lip at the top, maybe the bottom. Trying to find different handholds. Use your feet to hang on, use your toes to hang on. Try and keep yourself in position. Keep one hand free so you can clean the window. And so that's it. The highlight? I would say peeking over my shoulder, seeing a little man on the ground filming me with the camera, that was pretty funny. It's autumn, it's been freezing cold and very windy, but I've got a little moment of some beautiful warm weather that's letting me get the job done. So I'd say the weather and the fact that I know winter's coming, so just have to enjoy the unbelievable views, the trees, the river. So this is what's called a, a chair or a bosun chair. So my suction cup's all tangled into it, but um, so it's got a suction cup for when I want to do reaches and it helps me stick to the window, gives me a little bit more reach. So these are carabiners, um, they clip onto the rope and what attaches me to the rope is uh, this beautiful little device which is called a fisk. So the rope winds through this like a figure eight and then you put a loop above this ear and just using the force of friction it holds it and then I can move down just a little bit by giving the rope some slack or if I take it right off then I can move down fast to go from floor to floor and if I want to lock it so that it won't go down at all I just put it around twice. So that's a really cool little old-fashioned device. Very beautiful. And then I've got another rope, I've got two ropes and this is my safety grab, line grab and that just follows me down, I take it with my hand and when you tilt it at a certain angle then it goes down and if I were to fall then in theory it would grab so I've got two ropes, one that I descend on and one that I use for my safety and I sit on the chair like this and it's very comfortable and it gives me a lot of mobility again I can swing around reach for different windows and when I get to the bottom I just throw it on my back like like a surfboard and go sky surfing so that's it and then my bucket it's a tool kit scrubber scrubs the window and then I've got different squeegees of different sizes for cleaning the window. And I just race down the building, whipping out the tools. Scrub, squeegee, scrub, squeegee, quick as I can. It's like skating on the glass, skating with my hands vertically. So I find it very poetic and it creates amazing scope for the imagination. You can just think about whatever you want and you fly. We go down the rope, up the stairs, down the rope, up the stairs. And every time we come back up, we pop out and it's like, like going to heaven. You just walk out of the door, boom, panorama. So this is where we work. And for people who like poetry, people who like philosophy, people who like to think, people who like to daydream, or people who just like to be happy, 
you get to sit in the sky, hang out over here, and just enjoy this incredible view. It's pretty incredible work. It keeps you in shape. You're moving hard all day long, and you got to keep your mind really sharp. Pay attention to what you're doing. Make sure all your knots are tied right and your ropes are done well. But really, it's just about letting your spirit fly. That's the whole point. And letting your mind go, letting your thoughts drift around the world. It's pretty lovely. So basically, um, the nature of the job is that we hang the rope over the edge of the building and we move it all around doing the windows in vertical rows from top to bottom. So this is um, a setup for a stage that's doing different kind of work, but it gives you an idea. The rope attaches to an anchor like this that's rated for way more than you could ever pull on it. So it's a heavy duty anchor. The rope attaches, we use a carabiner, this is a different setup. And then we go over the edge, so come take a look. I don't know if you wanna lean over the edge, but that's what we do, we climb down. Attach to the rope, climb over the edge. And this is it, this is our playground. see a little edge right here so I always have to look out for where my ropes are going I'll tie a rag around there so that is protected this Here, lock the fisk. Then I take my safety. Make sure it faces the right way. Then I make sure my harness is fitting well, which it is not. So, as you might be able to see, the harness doesn't carry my weight. The harness is just so that if my main line happens to fail for some reason, which is extremely unlikely, um, then my harness is attached to my safety line grab. So the harness is basically a backup system. What's actually bearing my weight is that chair. And that's what I descend on. So, basically I do a final check. Um, I might just look at the carabiners, make sure they're in right since I was... Yep, carabiners are good. The line is protected. Hook, good. Line, fisk, locked, good. Ah, towels. 
So then the final thing is to always get the bucket, get the bucket in the chair. And you do that different ways on different buildings, but here I do it like this. Good. Make sure the edge is protected. Yes. And then I just get into my chair. That. Unlock the fisk. And this building's a bit funny, so I've got to go like this. Push away. And that's it, I'm ready to go. And I clean all the windows again. So that's how it is all day long. But yeah, the best thing about it is that even though the body's working really hard, lots of dexterity and endurance and precision, Basically, you just get to let yourself go travel into space with these unbelievable views overlooking the city. Free man. I guess I'll go down now.